now we have a bantamweight bout with Sean Simpson and Sergio Heroes scheduled for six rounds. Let's head to our ring announcer once again and Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here in Biloxi, Mississippi. As we have six rounds, this in the bantamweight division, all brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside will be Robert Keenum, John Dixon, and William Hunter. The referee in charge when the bell sounds is Wayne Spinoli. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he comes in wearing the gray and the blue, weighing in officially at 117 and three quarter pounds. His record, six wins, including one of those coming by way of knockout against one loss, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sergio El Nino Quiros. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the white and the red, weighing in officially at already 118 pounds. He enters the ring undefeated, nine wins, two of those coming by way of a knockout. Joining us from the windy city of Chicago, Illinois, by way of Bowie, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sean Simpson. All right, gentlemen, you know the rules. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Trunks here are good. These are a little high. I'm going to let everything on the line go. Any questions, gentlemen? If you want to now, touch gloves. Step back. I'll get you started. With the champ, Tony Harrison, the Hall of Fame of Ray Man City, Chris We're Myers right live from the MGM We're Theater at the Beau Rivage in Biloxi, Mississippi. Now, Kiros at 5'8", a four-inch height advantage over Sean Simpson. Okay, and sir, he's ready? yet to fight. Kiros passed the fourth round. As we are scheduled for six. I'm, I'm kind of familiar with Sean. He's a next door neighbor to me from Detroit. He's from Chicago. So when, when our when our when our nationals came and, and, and we, we had regional tournaments, um, the best out of each region came and Sean was one of them. He always had fast hands, but he's up against a, a, a tough fighter. Um, you have probably give give none. You know, Tony also Sean is trained by former world champion Montel Griffin. <laughs> Simpson has gone six rounds three times and winning a unanimous decision in all three of those. Last fought October of 2018 in his native Chicago, winning a unanimous four-round decision. Well, I like the fact of how he fights right now. He stays in the pocket. You know, he's got that pro style already. Stays in the pocket, and, and he uses his quickness, his hand speed, and he moves just enough. Quick little exchange between Simpson and Kiros. Sean, keep that jab pumping. They, 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 you can never go, you can never ever in, in the world of boxing go wrong with a good jab. You keep it on, keep it busy. That's the way you, guy who comes forward, guy who comes forward, the way you keep him distracted, the way you keep him at bay. So you don't wear yourself out, throwing too many jabs that don't land. Too not often. if it's not their landing. <laughs> Oh, you know, you lose, you know, they use it for two things. One, use it to find it's a finder to see where the guy is, you know, to keep your range. And the second, use it for defense. The guy throws punches, you throw a jab, it breaks him up. It's the gateway to success. The gateway. Open up the gates, baby. <laughs> the, the champ would know. <laughs> Right now, though, what, what Kiros has to do is cut off Sean. He's following him, as I use, and I use this all the time. Angelo Dundee used to say, "Ring around the rosy." You don't, you don't, you don't want to play ring around the rosy. You want to cut off the guy. Step over, cut him off. There he is. Yep, Kiros. Use your reach. Use your height. Trying to be aggressive. Right. Right. One thing I have to disagree with that is. Sean's not going anywhere, so I, 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 don't, I don't see him too much following. I think what Sergio has to do, he has to let his hands go. He just got to, you got to punch more. You got to make, you got to make Sean work, work at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a work rate that's uncomfortable for him. Because he can sit back there and just jab you all day and, and just win this fight easy and go home. And the punch is landed already in favor of Simpson. It's uh, 25 seconds in the slope of the ground. Like that, Ray, they're fighting in the middle of the ring. One at a time. 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 One at a
then his hands go to the other one's not. Round one of six. Sergio Kiro's first round. You know, you know, Tony, you were saying last round, it was a valid point. But one thing is when a guy moves his twist, he's moving to his left, moving to his left. Step over to the right, jab, push him to his right. Push him to his right. Because right now, Sean's moving to his left, real comfortable. He's staying in the pocket, as you said, but he's, got, he's using his natural movement. Hero's got to step over, push him the other way, bang that right hand to the body. Step over, throw right hand to the body, push him back. I totally agree with you, Ray, but in, in the instance, he's still not following him because we're not going nowhere. We're fighting, this, we're fighting the fight you want us to fight. He's not following him. He, so just, he, just, he just needs to, to, to make the little small adjustment, like you said, step over to the right because he is floating a little left, but just step over to the right. Don't follow him, just step over to the right. Make, a, make an adjustment. Heroes just can't seem to land any punches, even with that reach or height advantage. Part of that, part of that twist is when he jabs and he backs off. Jab, stay there, stay right on top of him. He just did it. He just yeah, did what you were saying. Skills pays the bills. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's something that man wants water. Simpson, the more compact of the two. Look, he, he's trained by a world form world champion. You know, he's gonna, you know, he knows the pro game. He's gonna stay in the pocket, as you said, Tony. You know, but that's pressure. The way you indicate quickness, the way you indicate speed is pressure. And, and instead of sitting back, Kiro's got to keep coming for it. Yeah. Keep coming for it. Make it a dogfight. When you talk about trained by Montel Griffith, the former WBC champ. Remember that light heavyweight title he Before, first for Roy be, Jones Jr.? First guy to be Roy Jones Jr. 58 and 1 record as a pro in Griffin had and trying to help Sean Simpson advance to 10 and 0. I think I think what Sean's doing to even stop Sergio from even firing, he's countering. You see him pulling on that jab, he's pulling on that right hand. You discourage the fighter by just pulling and by shooting back. You discouraging the fighter by even like like it, I'm, 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 if I'm Sean, I'm gonna let you know like don't even throw nothing because I'm coming back with counter shots. They're valid point, Tony. But the way you counter that is you got to throw more than one punch. Jab twice. Jab three times. Jab to the head, right hand to the body. You know what I mean? You got to break it on. You got to break up. You know when you know a guy gets quicker than you, you know he's trying to counter. You, you got to throw more than one punch at a time. Two, three punches. Even if you get caught one, stay on top of them and throw a punch. And throw a lot of volume. No, no, punches. stop, 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 stop. Right, clean. Stay off the back of his head, okay? Wayne Spinoli, our referee, Box. separating. <laughs> two to one ratio. Punches landed for Simpson under 20 to go in round two. Good dad, baby. Good dad, mama. Dad, mama. Let my, and my, and my, and my Chuck boys, mama, they go that big. Use that jab, boy. You said it from the start. That misses from Heroes once again. Has been the aggressor. He went to Chicago Vocational School, youngest of four boys, been boxing since he was eight years old. His grandfather boxed in the Army. His uncle boxed as well. There it is, right there. They keep pressure. See, he's coming forward a little bit more now. They keep him forward. Taking that jab out there, pushing Sean back. There's no way he's going to beat him. Just to keep pushing him back. And anytime he gets Sean near the rope, Sean quickly gets out of it. Here he's got him in the corner. There we go, banging that body a little bit. Oh, Sean turned him. Guess, guess what Sean did? The art of the science. We wrap him up. We get back to the middle of the ring That's to do what we got to do is speed kills. <laughs> That's that counter set that I was telling you about right there, right? We're we going to discourage you by just countering right hand. Every time we pull, we're going to throw something back. There you go. That's okay. That's okay. If I throw two or three punches and you're backing up, judges is looking and at that. I, and He's I, dictating the pace of the fight. Yeah, dictating paces of fights don't win you fights, Ray. Oh, it's the only way you win a fight is no control way, the fight. Ray. Control the fight, brother. Hey, guess what? Hey, Ray, how do you control the fight, Ray? That shit stick. Got back. Put it with the back. stick. Keep pulling up with the stick. Uh, uh, we'll put you guys on an undercard somewhere, all right? <laughs> There's a fight going on in the ring. We'll save your commentary uh, no, against no, each other. No, no, no. No, somebody must say something to Kiros because he's finally coming back. He's not waiting. He is, yes, he has push responded. Pushing him back. Pushing him back with that jab. And, and Sean's certainly trying to counter. I totally agree with you, Ray. Sergio is definitely no, 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 having a better round. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, there it is. definitely landed there. something there on Simpson. Simpson, in all likelihood, has won the first two rounds the way we see it. Marcus Villegas, our unofficial scorer, along with us. Get a thought from him in a moment or two. When they're yelling in the corner in Spanish to go downstairs. About, about, about stairs. I didn't know you spoke Spanish. I know you spoke Italian. <laughs> 
understand. Man. I I understand. Enough, enough for their yelling from the corner. Hey, Ray, I hope you uh, you ain't seen that. That's five when there's a jab. It's out of the double door. Now right back to the jab. It was a good body shot. But he's getting back in the corner. He's got body two, three shots in the body. Take that jab away with two, three shots to that body. See, see what, I th what I think Sean is doing now, right now, is just he's waiting too much for the counter. Keep, keep going with the jab until you find your counter. That's keep pumping that jab. Right back to the jab. Right there. Do it. Right back to the jab. When he starts to, when he starts to initiate. Right back to the jab. He, he, he pushes the Kiro's back. That's exactly when what wait, I'm saying. When he waits to counter, Kiro's is more effective. Kiro's with an abrasion around the eye, the right eye, outside of the right eye. Now he's got some in the corner, but right away, Sean Simpson spins out of the back to the middle of the ring. You see that, right? Every time he throws the jab, he does not miss. He hasn't missed with the jab yet. Keep the jab. I like the counter shots, too. He's Punches. missed with them, though. He's missed with them. Punch has landed and tightened up a bit as Kiro's has gotten some here in the third. Uh, Simpson because he was just a little bit more accurate and landed just a little bit more in that last round. Thank you and the, the percentages favoring Simpson punches landed but not by much not by what they were in the first two rounds as you see how Marcos has scored this at the moment. Here in the fourth Kiros comes out swinging. If I'm shouting right now I'm telling him jab up he jab down because that straight jab down to the body it won't miss because he doesn't miss. Left from Kiros. And well defensed by Simpson. A flurry of punches, but nothing for Kuros seems to sting Simpson. Well, you know, Tony, good advice. If, if he jabs to the body, he bends, he bends at the waist, and he's out of range of the, any counter punches from Kuros. Yep. I, I like the fact that that Sean's out. When he's trying to jab and jab, he's trying to make Kiro's throw a right hand to counter with the left hook or slip up and he can take that right hand. Like if I'm Sergio's corner, I'm telling him there's no perfect shots. Just keep pushing forward in threes and fours and fives and sixes. Absolutely. Just throw and don't let him wrap you up at no given moment. Jabs, yeah, huh? a couple left jabs from Simpson. Great jabs, huh? He's setting something Great up here, it jabs, looks like. Huh? Even if he ain't setting nothing up, we just gonna dictate it by doing that. You see, when Kiro's in the shot on the, uh, the jabs, Kiro's just stayed on the outside instead of moving forward. Even if you keep eat a few of them, yeah, you gotta come forward underneath them and dig to the body. Big roundhouse miss from Kiro's. Left that does not connect. Yeah, just start fainting. Just start stomping smallly fainting and shoot little shots off of that. Another hit move. Another miss. From El Nino. That lands. From Simpson. This is again where Kiro's got to double up on the jab. He's got to throw multiple punches. Two or three jabs. Two jabs right hand to the body. Just throw more than one punch. Woo! Baby, oh, oh, take Yeah, Kiro's backed up on that. You see the brace around the outside on the left eye and the right eye. Trying to work underneath his Kiro. Looks like they have landed something, but didn't affect. Oh, a nice response, a left from Simpson. Sean wants to work inside. Ten seconds, respect the bell. Scheduled for six. Sean Simpson is, is a highly skilled Polish fight. He's got it all. He, he knows how to fight. And right now, he's controlling the fight. He's dictating the pace of it. Everything he can do to lead to a victory. Uh, I, I don't see what Kiros can do other than try to, you know, make it a dog. That's the only thing he can do. Ray, have you ever had the key to the city? <laughs> that's what that's, that's what Sean is delivering right now. The key to the city. He's jabbing and jabbing and more jabbing, baby. Keys to the city. So, Tony, I was given the key to the city years ago, and I found it didn't open up anything. <laughs> that's where they threw you a parade, right? Yeah, yeah. Didn't open up anything. 
Well, you know what, Ray? The keys to the city right now in, in, the, in the sport of boxing, the keys to the city open the right hands and left hooks that are knockout shots. Well, you know, that, 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 that's what the thing about Kilo's is corner. They keep you on that in Spanish to right hand, right hand. And, but he can't, he's not close enough to throw right hand. Tony, you said you're familiar with Sean Simpson. Are you surprised that he hasn't been able to knock out? Uh, you know what? Um, he, he's never, he, you know, the guy has a good little weight. I, you know, we, we don't too much expect oh. knockouts by these guys. He's not a power puncher. You can see he's not a big puncher. He's got three in his nine wins. He's going to hit you a lot. He's going to wear that down with the punches, if that. He's one of those speed kills, guys. You know, I, I, I'm entertained. You know, like, like I am too. I, I'm entertained because. What, 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 what Sean is giving us is the art of the sport. Speed kills, good jabs, good movement, good head movement, good lateral movement. He's not using the whole ring. He's catching and shooting. He's sitting right there in the middle. He's he's, 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 he's entertaining without a knockout. Tony, he reminds me of an old school fighter. You know, Chris, he got his hands kind of low, moves his head, moves his head, stays in the pocket. Those old school guys from the 30s and 40s, guys like Archie Moore, guys like Bojack, guys like Ike Williams, they stay in the pocket. Charlie Birdie, they stay in the pocket, make you miss and they count you. Yeah, and Simpson just at 5-4, I mean, we have not, it, there's not been a disadvantage, the height or reach. Because of his skill set. And as you can see, right, even when he missed shots, he's bringing his hands back up, he's catching, he's rolling, he's slipping, he's shooting. Now we just got to start touching him down low. The old, the old fighters, I got, I got a chance to talk to Jimmy McLaren one time, the great Jimmy McLaren, three-time world champion. He said, I don't know why these guys hold their hands up so high. Keep it, just move their head a lot, just move their head. And you keep your hands free to punch. Well, this is a phenomenal job that Sean is putting on. He's putting on the clinic. That's what he is. Kiros with just one loss. He's been knocked out once and hoping to, along with having one knockout, survive this. Another round to go. And unofficially, our scoring for Marcos Villegas, all rounds have gone to Sean Simpson. What can. Heroes do to this fight in his favor. After the first two rounds, he came out more aggressive. We got a quick timeout by a referee, and he's going to send over here. Hey, hey, that's it into one corner. I had my hands on both of them. When I say stop, you stop. You understand that? You do that again, I'm going to disqualify you. Okay? You fight clean. Stay right there. When I say stop, you stop. You understand? Okay. Don't, don't retaliate. All right. All right. Back up. Ready? Box. Yeah, look, I understand the guy punched him, in, you know, during the break, but the referee got to get in there. Don't stop the action in a fight to make it about you. Just tell the guys, hey, man, when I say stop, stop, period. I, 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 totally, I totally agree with Ray. I totally agree with Ray. I think uh, Sergio just got a little, a little, you know, in his feelings that uh, Sean came out to touch the glove but act like he was going to touch the glove and hit him with a three-piece. So yeah, we'll, we'll show that in a moment, Tony, so you can... Explain maybe why, and he, you heard the referee say, "Don't retaliate." But he's already throwing a punch in the middle of the punch. See right there. All right, he did it. Okay, stop him. Tell me, man. Next time, stop and let the fight continue. Come on, man. Anyway. And it is continuing. Now they sep <laughs> separate. I think Heros knows what he needs to do. I just don't know if he has the ability to do it against Simpson. Chris, Tony, I looked in the corner. It's one thing that the kid looks dejected. His corner looks dejected. It's your, you, you, gotta look, you look for your corner to get that build you up, to give you a little enthusiasm. Come on, man, we can do this. They look dejected. They're, they, they, they're, they're, they're all with their heads down out there. So I think the kid going to feel he can win this fight when his corner is looks the same way. Very good, small, short shots in the inside by Sean. He's, 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 he's catching, he's rolling, he's throwing short shots right off of that. Only thing I didn't like that Sean just did was just change the south part. Why, when you're having a lot of success as an orthodox and you're hitting it with everything you want to hit him with. One of the guys high, guy high skill when he's 5'4", out jabbing a tall guy. Yep, it's impressive. You know what, that just goes back to the school of hard knocks. You know, he's from Chicago. They, they, they taught him right. They taught him, they taught him correct. Montel Griffith, if you ever watched Montel, Montel had all the tricks. He, he was just, he was a short for his weight, he was a light heavyweight, but he stayed right in front of these guys, he'd out jab them, out slick them. He, he, Sean types fights the same type of style that Montel did. Another thing, I, I don't like it when I don't when I see the smaller guys not jabbing because they're smaller. You know, you know that's 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 the art of the sport. You have to jab. You have to jab to do everything. You have to jab to get in. You got to jab to control the pace. 
You got to jab to get away. You got to use a jab. Back in the day, when I used to, even though I was a guy pressure fighter, I used to use my jab to get in. I would jab most of my opponents. I look, I look like Willie Pep in this. <laughs> you still got a lot of pep in your step. No, no you got to. When you're on the way in, you got to jab. You keep jabbing, you break the guy up, you keep him busy when you're on the way in. Heroes face marked up seemingly every round going to Sean Simpson in this bantamweight bout with Ray Mancini and Tony Harrison. Let's look at how Simpson did a lot of his damage. You talked about the jab, Tony, from the start. Landing the left quite a bit. It goes a, a jab. You got a small little step back to get out of the way. Out of, of a lot of shots, you got a you got a, a, a different kind of jab, which is an up jab. You got that kind of jab. You got the pick and the shooting jab. You got the jab plus the jab. You got the jab pull jab. You know, it's just it, it's it's every. You know, you can do a lot of things with the jab, and Sean showed it all today. I don't know there's that many days for a jab. <laughs> 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 Well, Simpson Chicago. threw less punches, Chicago. but the percentage landed overall. Much more effective. Chicago Marcos, Florida. way you scored this heavily in favor of Simpson. So every time I take a step back, you come back like with a hook or something. Yeah, Chris, I gave him all the rounds, uh, 60 to 54. When, when he was jabbing and he was moving around, he was just dominating, and it was so easy to score the rounds for him because you saw Kiros's head just snapping back like a Pez dispenser the whole entire uh, fight. You know, the only thing I would think for him to combat that was to time Simpson when he's throwing those jabs, jab with him, and maybe time an, an overhand right, but the speed disparity on uh, Simpson uh, made that very difficult for Kiros to do that. Yeah, it just seemed like Simpson was never threatened at all. And, that, and that's the thing. Marcos hit it on the nose. Uh, if you got time, and timing is better than speed. You know, time, you can always time speed if you got a good time. I mean, Sergio never showed time. All right, let's head to the ring and Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. All three judges are in the coordinates. 60 to 54 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Sean. Simpson improves his record to 10 and 0. Kiros slips to 6 and 2. You're watching Premier Boxing Champions live on FS1. Our main event is coming up in a moment.